Drop every process but this one and manifest anything you desire today on Awakening with Amy. Hi, welcome. I'm Amy Valentine, Certified Life Coach, hoping to awaken within you a mindset that you can be, do, and have any desire. Today, we're going to talk about one process, the only process you need to manifest anything in your life. This this is really inspired by uh, a conversation I had a couple days ago with a client, and she was really conflicted and confused about why she was getting these two seemingly opposite things in our life, which happens to all of us, right? It's like, it's, it's, it's like, you know, on one hand, we're getting this positive thing and on the other hand, we're getting negative and we can't figure out why am I getting the good thing over here and the bad thing over here? And this was her story. Basically, she said everything at work was going great. She's a manager. She has like eight people under her. She said when um, she's like, I run meetings, team meetings, we have one on one conversation. She's like, I get along with all my coworkers. I love what I do. She said, it's great. She said, but (laughs) on the other hand, she said, I'm so socially awkward. She's like, I have social anxiety when I go out or I'm in like parties or social situations. She's like, I'm really super shy. She's like, I'm the one sitting in the corner, not talking to anybody. She's like, and starting to affect my relationship. My boyfriend is getting kind of frustrated with me because I don't want to go out. I just want to stay home. She's like, but when I do go out, he's talking to all his friends. And she's like, and I'm just kind of sitting there in the corner. She's like, so what's going on? She's like, I'm affirming, I'm scripting, I'm meditating, and nothing is working. And I said, well, actually, you just told me the answer. I said, you already know. I just like, well, what is it? And I said, well, it's the story you're telling yourself. I said, when you're at work, you're telling a story about your confidence, how much you love what you're doing. You're being motivated by the love within you. I said, but on the other hand, when you say you're shy, socially awkward, you have social anxiety, that's what you're believing to be true. That's a story you're telling yourself. So at that moment, you're being motivated by fear. And, or in other words, you're saying, I am not who I want to be. And on the other hand, at work, you're saying, I am who I want to be. So this was the key for her. She didn't realize. She just took for granted that she was socially awkward and in social situations outside of work, but then she was confident and happy at work. She just took it for granted. She didn't know. She wasn't awake. She wasn't awake to the story she was telling herself. And she had this profound, like, just realization just with that one conversation. She's like, oh, my God. She's like, now I understand why the scripting wasn't working. I said, yeah, because you're scripting to be more socially confident. But all day long, you're telling yourself the opposite story. So it it can't manifest, right? So. I told her, I said, the key, the number one key, I said, rejoice. I said, just be, feel so excited because now you're aware. I said, that's the first key to shifting anything is to become conscious of the stories that you're telling yourself on every subject. In other words, you know, am I being motivated, right, by love or by fear? And I said, we have free will to choose. We're always choosing, but we're either choosing from an unconscious program that was handed down to us that we're kind of unawake to. I said, or we become the conscious creator by consciously choosing the story we want to tell ourselves, right? By purposely directing our thoughts, our beliefs, our assumptions. In other words, coming from a state of mind that I am creator, I am the operant power, like Neville says instead of allowing what was handed down to you, run the show, right? So it's just, number one, become aware, be conscious of it. So Neville Goddard said, you could lay aside all other processes but this one. And this is what he says. He says, make 
your inner conversations match fulfilled desire. That's it. We humans overcomplicate things because we are so ingrained. We are so taught to invert the love that is who we really are, and we invert it and turn it into fear. We have faith in limitation instead of faith in our unlimited nature. And that's what we have to awaken to, to shift anything. Neville is teaching us to match our inner talking, our story, to our fulfillment. In other words, to that higher perspective, to that higher truth within us, to go within, to our intuition, consult that instead of the reasoning mind, that physical mind, remember, doesn't know how anything is, is going to happen. It can't figure it out. That's why it's always in chaos. The reasoning mind, the physical mind, is only job is to focus on what is already happening or what has already happened, right? It's, that's all it is. It's a tool that we need to enjoy the physical journey here on earth. The higher mind speaks to us through our intuition. And intuition is just to be taught from within, right? That's how the higher mind speaks to us. It just urges us, nudges us, doesn't tell us how, doesn't tell us when, just is it nudging us, urging us through our desires, saying they're already fulfilled, love them instead of fighting them, right? So all reality, remember, is is only defined by how what you believe to be true about yourself. Everything, how you experience anything is what you're doing within yourself. Who and what you say you are. That's it. That's why Neville's process is so powerful because when you match your inner conversation to I am fulfilled, instead of looking at the world and defining yourself through lack and limitation, when you match that inner conversation to fulfillment that no matter what's going on out there, circumstances don't matter, only state of mind, only state of being does, then literally you start to align that inner story with your good. And remember to pray. You know, we were taught in scripture, pray believing you have already received. Well, that's the same thing Neville is saying, match your prayer to fulfillment and prayer is another way to say prepare for your good it's preparation faith in your good instead of faith and limitation or fear right so drop the old dead stories you don't have to do anything with them you don't have to fix them you don't have to do anything with them just drop them meaning Think around them. Stop letting those old stories, those old thoughts have power over you. You are the operant power. Like Neville says, you get to decide what you want to believe, what thoughts you want to believe. And the, the only way, listen, we're always motivated by either love or fear. Every choice that we make, whether it's conscious or unconscious, no, we know we're doing it. We don't know we're doing it. Everything is a choice and it's motivated by either love or fear. We never do anything, say anything, think anything without being motivated by something. And when we become aware of that, be the uncritical observer of our thoughts, of our feelings, of the stories we're telling ourselves, only then can we now choose again and make a different choice. So we want to drop those old dead stories that no longer align with love. Stop building a story around negative thoughts. You know, it's it's like when we, that's the only time a negative thought can ever hurt us is if we build a story around it like it's true. We're not even realizing we're making it true. Instead of letting that fleeting negative thought or fleeting negative feeling just ha have it say and then move on. It's a positive indifference. Neville Goddard also says, indifference is the knife that severs. Feeling is the tie that binds. He's talking about that positive indifference. Be indifferent to fear. Be indifferent to doubt. 
because that shuts all fear, all doubt shuts the door to your fulfillment. And what opens the door to fulfillment is love, is being motivated by the love within you. Course in Miracles says, every loving thought is true. Everything else is an appeal for healing and help, regardless of the form it takes. Every loving thought is true. Everything else is an appeal. It's a cry for help. That's it. That's how you match your inner conversation. That's how you catch yourself when you're going against your desire. Is Am I being motivated by love or am I being motivated by fear? Be willing to ask yourself to, to challenge those thoughts, those beliefs, and then drop anything that feels anything less than love. Just drop it. Do nothing with it. Because you have the power over them. As, you know, you can move around them instead of letting them have power over you. So, again, remember, the physical world, the manifested 3D world, is only a reflection of what we're doing within, the story we're telling, our state of mind. And what opens the door to everything that we desire is being motivated, allowing ourselves, choosing love, letting ourselves be led by love. So when we do have that negative thought of doubt and fear, no big deal. Be indifferent to it. It's not a big deal. You don't have any power over me because my only power comes from love. And so it all comes through us then. Right? That's what Neville is saying. Match your inner world, your inner conversations to fulfillment. And the outer world then must reflect that back to you. It's coming through you as you, not to you. Remember that. That is so key. And here's a good process Neville teaches or taught. <laughs> um, this technique really is to stir that inner conviction, that inner knowing of fulfillment, that I am one with the divine. I am one with my good. And what opens that door again is love. So this is what he says to say, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful now that I am fulfillment? Just remind yourself, when you focus on fulfillment, that gratitude, that prayer is a preparing for my good, it's unconditional. Your reasoning mind is going to tell you, oh, you, you're out of your mind. What do you, I don't see any evidence. Let the mind chatter, knowing that that reasoning mind cannot possibly know how your good can come to you, but your intuition does know. Your heart knows the way. The higher mind is speaking through you, through those desires, through those urges. And they're saying, you are wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? Connect to your desire, no matter what. Circumstances never matter, only your state of being does. And when you match those, that inner story, those inner conversations to your good, to your fulfillment, now you open the door to everything that you want. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking and sharing the video. Thank you for your comments. And thank you for subscribing. And until next time, have a wonderful day.